One small step for man, a giant leap for Sinoales Global. For this grimoire opening, we go on a star sea voyage with Princess Kaguya as she returns to the moon with a couple of friends. We are pulling for the new lunar lapin job for Kaguya, Red Riding Hood, and Sleeping Beauty. But before we get to the opening, answer the Sinoali survey for a chance to win some Twilight Crystals. The link is below in the description. And use my code word, favorable sauce. Now, let's go open them grimoires. Welcome again to my Star Sea Voyage Grimoire opening video. Thanks for joining me. And while you're at it, please subscribe to the channel. I've been sitting on my crystals, accumulating them, waiting for the right event. Fortunately, this one has an event full arm to fully limit break. The one I've been waiting for is a collab event. And it's been a while since we had the last one, the Kaki Kuruni one. I do hope I can build up my crystal stash when the new collab event drops eventually. Now, Starsy Voyage is a special banner that has 3 new job classes and 5 new SR weapons. The bunny themed spacesuits look cute and I can't exactly deny that it's one of the reasons that I pulled the trigger on this event banner. It's just one of the reasons. The deciding factor has to be the Princess Kaguya as an event character since I'm a fan of its character design. Plus, this is a limited time availability gacha and I have no idea when it will return. And the event gear also provides a boost to the drops of the Moonlight Terminus, a co-op guild event and I could actually Use the drops in the metal exchange store for the event. Let's see what we're gonna get with the fifth step of the first round. And we got Princess Kaguya right off the bat. Okay. Although she's a minstrel, I mostly a magic vanguard player. I can still use her because I collect classes. And I'm a, part, I'm a fan, in particular, of the Princess Kaguya design. Now, let's talk about the Medal Exchange event store, where the boosted drops and the medals come. Very useful. The event store is one of the few opportunities that you can get the rare books that you need to unlock the skill paths in character upgrade and they introduce more characters for you to upgrade and thus their corresponding books books excuse me are in the store so i'm accum i'm accumulating the medals and them and not just the books i'll also need the evolution items that i need to Bring my legendary class here into double L, double legendary class. And they cost a lot of medals as well. Not only that, you'll get the regular crystals around 200 for this event. Plus the story gems, plus the experience books, plus the gear upgrade materials that you need. But of course, you still need the evolution materials that you will need, you will need to bring your gear into legendary class. And from legendary class, you can use the materials in the store to bring them into double legendary as I have planned. Now, we have reach. The fifth step in, we got Red Riding Hood for the second round and we got the event full arm and we got another SR in the event range weapons that was a very lucky round for us 
now we are going into the third round. Now for the third round, there's a benefit at the end. Once you read the third round, there are tiered benefits. That's why I'm at least pulling three rounds. And not only that, I'll need more medals. So I need more gear. And the Moonlight Terminus Coop Guild event actually has uh, benefits or rewards for accumulating medals. And they come in two phases. You have the individual rewards and the guild rewards. Because of my limit broken weapons and the weapons I've accumulated through the grimoires, hitting the individual targets are not a problem for me because I also grind. But it's the guild the rewards the Booba challenge because not all my guildmates grind, but I do have a few, uh, several guild picks, right? And this shout, is, shout out is for you guys, for my guildmates at the Olympus Guild. Yeah, thanks for grinding. And this is the benefit I was talking about at the fifth step of the third round. We get to pick uh, SR weapon, and for this one, I'm definitely picking the Polar. Because that's the that's what I need to at least start the limit break. Although I'm still hoping to get another full arm for a total of two. I'm not really sure how lucky I'll get that last time. And as I said, I got the rage weapon. But at least I still got the full arm. For a banner that was originally an impulse decision to pull, I ended up with the gear in classes I want. So, it is a clear success. And I hope you decided to pull as well. And was lucky with your pulls. If you enjoyed this Grimoire opening video, smash that like And check out my other videos as well. Until then, this is Project Sage, and I'll see you in the next video.